Do mushrooms help with ADHD? That's such a good question. Let's explore this, shall we? So ADHD is a condition known as a dysfunction, inattention, impulsivity, and excessive motor activity. Though it may also cause trouble with memory, organization, focus, and regulation of emotions. And it can affect people of all ages and genders with symptoms varying from person to person. Now, right now on the market, there are a few medications available that act as a stimulant to help curb these symptoms. The science behind it is that these stimulants help block the reuptake of certain neurotransmitters, dopamine and norepinephrine thus in turn increasing the activity of the parts of the brain that deal with various motor, cognitive, and emotional processes. Now these stimulant medications are very effective. They have a success rate of over 70%, but they can be taxing on your body long-term. Studies have also found that prolonged use can lead to the brain adapting and modifying the areas that are continuously activated by these medications, thus decreasing the benefits over time, basically building a tolerance, right? This is why a lot of patients try to find alternative ways to help manage their symptoms. Now, now, plant medicine companies have been exploring with the idea of microdosing as an alternative. So far, they've found that micro is more beneficial than macro because if taken in large amounts can cause impairments and hallucinations, but the goal is really to avoid these effects and instead enhance one's ability to perform professionally, creatively, personally. Lower doses can also affect the ego and provide insight into one's patterns of cognition, behavior, and emotion, an ego death as we all know and love. And the thought is providing the insight into these patterns can help one lead a more functional Life. Research has also found that mushrooms may increase the expression of BDNF, or brain-derived nootropic factor, which helps support neuron growth and differentiation, which have been altered by ADHD because of its effect on dopamine. A stimulant medication does work, but it's only really treating the symptoms. I'm excited to see what the future holds as we're exploring these alternative ways to help mold the brain long-term. Stay tuned for more education and news. This is Plant Medicine Life, and let's build a community, shall we? Join us on Discord. Link is in the bio.